or sought. Therefore, you shepherds, hear Yahweh's word. As I live, says the Lord Yahweh, surely because my sheep become a prey, and my sheep become food to all the animals of the field, because there was no shepherd. My shepherds didn't search for my sheep, but the shepherds fed themselves and didn't feed my sheep. Therefore, you shepherds, hear Yahweh's word. The Lord Yahweh says, Behold, I'm against the shepherds. I will require my sheep at their hand and cause them to cease from feeding the sheep. The shepherds won't feed themselves anymore. I will deliver my sheep from their mouth that I may, I may not be food for them. For the Lord Yahweh says, Behold, I myself even, I will search for my sheep, and I will seek them out, as a shepherd seeks out his flock, and the day that he is among his sheep, they are scattered abroad. So I will seek out my sheep, I will deliver them out of all the places where they have been scattered, in the cloudy and dark day. I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries. I will bring them into their own land. I will feed them on the mountains of Israel by the water courses and in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them with good pasture and their fold will be on the mountains on the height of Israel. There there they will lie down in a gold or good fold. They will feed on fat pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep. And I will cause them to lie down, says the Lord Yahweh. I will seek that which was lost and will bring back that which was... Excuse me, hiccups. <laughs> See? Can I get, this, get through this all hiccups, man? Every time I read the Bible, it's like getting hiccups. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I've been drinking coffee, drinking water, eating orange juice a little bit. Maybe I need to drink some more orange juice. I don't know. No, I know. It's, it's just something that the devil does to me. He tries to, you know, do me, but he ain't going to succeed. And will bind them which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick. But I will destroy the fat and then the strong. I will feed them in justice. <laughs> destroy the fat. It's in the Bible. <laughs> That's funny. But I will destroy the fat. See, God knew some of us, us, us Americans here, man. We need to, you know, go ahead and, you know, try to, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> we, need, we need, we need some of that, uh, you know, um, that. It's been a while since we had a six pack, right? I'm not talking. You know what I'm saying. Look, God knew, knew. You know what I'm saying. Before we even, even um were born here, and we took our first breath here. <laughs> As for you, all my flock, the Lord Yahweh says, Behold, I judge between sheep and sheep, the rams and the male goats. Does it seem a small thing you have to... You, to does it seem a, a small thing you have to fed on the good pasture? But you must tread down with your feet with the residue of your pasture. As you have drunk of the clear waters, but you must foul the residue with your feet. As for my sheep, they eat that which have trodden with your feet. They have drink that which you have fouled with your feet. Is God a rapper? Because that's funny, man. He's rhyming. He's trying to like let you know he's also an MC here. <laughs> He's rhyming the Bible here. <laughs> we're reading, we're reading MC Jesus here. <laughs> He's rapping, man. <laughs> He's a rapper. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Anyhow, inside joke. <laughs> okay, but verse twenty. Therefore, the Lord Yahweh said to them, Behold, I even I will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep, because you thrust. 
from a different tribe, a different, a different section. We, you like you say, you from the north side, the south side. You don't belong here. You can stay in the north. And uh, they, they go. <laughs> it's gonna be some, it's gonna be some fighting, man. And sometimes lion fights, fights to the death. It, sometimes lions just fight for a little bit and they stop, but sometimes they fight to the death, man. That's that's their pride there, you know. <laughs> they won't stop until one lion is pretty much out, out bleeding, leaking. <laughs> you know, I, I've uh, I've uh, I've encountered many lions in the wild, okay, <laughs> and also tigers. And you know, a tiger dug his his his, uh, his claws. My ribs, but you know, I got scars, but I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? Thank God. <laughs> you know, but um, even lions fight with tigers and, and other cats. But you know, the thing is, when lions fight one another, it's because you know there's a there's a um, there's a misunderstanding, most likely. <laughs> Anyhow, verse 26. I will make them and the places around my hill a blessing. I will cause the shower to come down in, in its season. Season. There will be showers of blessing. The tree of the field will, will yield its fruit, and its herbs will yield its increase. And they will be secure in their land. Then they will know that I am Yahweh, when I have broken the bars of their yoke, and have delivered them out of the hand of those who made slaves of them. They will no more be a prey to the nations. Neither, neither will the animals of the earth devour them. But they will they will dwell securely, and no one will make them afraid. But that is actually no. We have some more verses. Verse 29. I will raise up to them a plantation for a renown, and they will no more be consumed with famine in the land and not bear the shame of nations anymore. Then they will know that I, Yahweh, their God, am with them, and that they are the house of Israel. All are the, my people, says the Lord Yahweh. You, my sheep, the sheep of my pastor, are men, and I am your God, says the Lord Yahweh. And that is it for Ezekiel chapter 34. Let's see if we miss anything before we conclude. Hey, kitty, kitty. How are you doing today? Give yourself some milk there. <laughs> uh, anyhow, um, the thing is, God is going to show Israel Yahweh and Israel are connected. I mean, you can't you can't uh, you know rule up one another. It's kind of like you know it's kind of like bread and butter in a sense. They go together. <laughs> that's that's Yahweh and Israel. Um, all the all the writings come from Israelites, Jews, and the Bible. So if you if you try to take you know Israel out of the picture, then it doesn't make sense because all the all the writers were Jewish. You didn't really have any Gentile writers in the scriptures, okay? But however, God used Gentiles because Gentiles started to become Christians. All the G's started to come to Christ, okay? Including me. <laughs> I'm a G. <laughs> I'm a Gentile. I'm not a Jew. I'm a Gentile. I'm a non-Jew. <laughs> and um, the thing is, uh, Yeshua is going to use whether it be Jews or Jews for his for his sake. We're all his sheep. We're all his sheep here. He's really the ultimate shepherd. Sure, there are other shepherds, but he is the ultimate shepherd. Yeshua. See, I have a picture uh, over here of, of him holding a whole bunch of sheep in his hand, you know. And Jesus is the shepherd. He's holding one she all these sheep in his hand. There's other sheep around him. That's the analogy. He's going to watch over us. He says he's going he's gonna to be our God. Right here, it says it. <laughs> and 
They are men, but they are sheep. He looks like men, men, simple men like us as his sheep. Okay? And God is going to be our needs. Whatever we need. Whatever we need, he's going to meet our needs. Uh, he's going to provide for us. And, uh, you know, we just we just have to go ahead and put our full, full trust in him. And he's going to... It's going to be green pastures at the end of this road. Um, you know, pastures, uh, pretty much land after land. You can, we're talking about heaven here, man. Our minds cannot, cannot fathom what a heaven is like. We're still, until we get to heaven, we're still stuck in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> we're still in the Garden of Eden here until Yeshua comes for us and the, and the rapture. So I, I pray that you, you know, don't take his word lightly. And it's not a fairy tale. Some people think it's a fairy tale, the unbelievers. Us Christians don't take it lightly. We take it um, sometimes literally his word. It's more spiritually things, spiritually connected. I think that's it. Yeah, I think I'm going to conclude with that. You guys have a God-blessed weekend until the next episode. I'm your host, Soshi, for the Scarry Chapel Channel.